Okay, so I quite, I quite literally do this every time. But I'm just sitting in the Starbucks parking lot because I don't know what I want. I've had like 15 minutes of driving to the Starbucks to think about it. Still can't figure it out. Well, here's what I would like ideally, but I don't want to be a pain in the ass. It's a shake Nespresso, but with the like cinnamon caramel new syrup that they have, they have it as like a cold brew right now. But here's the problem. If I were to order that as a shaken espresso, I would have to order an iced shaken espresso. I'd have to change the espresso to blonde because I prefer blonde espresso. Then I would have to ask for one less shot of espresso because I will have heart palpitations if I have three shots of espresso in a grande. Then I have to change the milk to almond milk because I'm lactose intolerant. And then I have to request special syrup. I don't want to be that person. I don't know. I'm difficult. That's the problem. Welcome to Starbucks. My name's Chris. What's yours? Uh, this is for Marissa. Hey, what are we going to start with today, Marissa? I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Guys, I hate when they ask me my name right at the beginning because I just like, it throws me off. Okay, hold on. Please tell me why I had the most awkward interaction of my life with that Starbucks employee. Some Starbucks is that like, will be like, what's my, this is, my, this is my name, what's yours? Um, now I'm all thrown off. So he asked for my name. I get to the window and he's like, how are you doing this morning? You're like, how's it going? I was so caught up in my own world that I just like, it didn't process. So I was like, I'm sorry. And he was like, how are you doing? And I was like, good, it's a little early. So I'm a little frazzled, um, which I don't even know why I said that. Cause it's 10, it's 10 and I'm, I usually get up at like eight. So like, I'm not, it's not early. What's wrong with me? Good try. Okay, serious question. What Taylor Swift album are you? I believe that I'm a folklore girly. More specifically, if you've seen that TikTok where that guy mashed the archer with mirror ball and like, that's me. I'm both of those together. I wish that there was a full version of that because I would listen to that and cry to sleep every night. You know? Um. Not to be like that, but it is like that. I don't know why I'm dilly-dallying. I literally have an hour. All right, let's go. Babe, it's June. What are we doing? Oh, it's about politics. Okay, my bad. Currently sitting on the floor. They only have the hardcover. It's $30. It's $30. What do we do? Do I ask if they have it? Okay, so what's funny is I've literally been pacing around um, trying to work up the courage to ask if they have a paperback copy in the back or something. And it's not often that my social anxiety works out for me, but today it did because I would have looked really freaking stupid because you know why? There's a whole end cap. I didn't even notice. Mama e papa. Mama e papa. Got the book. I thought this was young adult. Is this not young adult? Did it start as young adult? Because for some reason I thought it was young adult. It was in the adult fantasy section. So I was a little confused. They only had the hardcover and I wasn't about to pay $30 for one book in this series. Are you kidding me? There's like 5 billion. So anyways, proud that I only walked out with one. But like I said, I couldn't find them at first. And when I tell you I was pacing around that Barnes and Noble for like 10 minutes, like just walking past employees because none of them were just like at the customer service desk or like at the front. So I would have had to like stop them in their tracks. And like, I know that this is a completely normal thing to do, but I'm just weird. I'm weird, okay? There was an entire end cap, right? Like literally two shelves down from her stuff. And I just walked right past it. And the first lady I was going to ask, I was literally going to ask her standing next to that shelf. I just didn't bother to look to my right. So, good. Good thing I didn't. I don't know why today's vlog is filled with so much awkward. Nonetheless. <laughs> that valve was wet. Why was it wet? It's air. Why wet? As if this Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer is gonna do anything. That's where I live in my fantasy. Oh, is it starting to rain? Is that why it was wet? All right, now that it's noon 08, I'm gonna be going to lunch soon and I won't burden you with any more of my time. Okay, 
Hope you enjoyed.